Nice outfit. Do I know you? I doubt it. I've gone to private schools all my life, and I'm rich as shit. Oh, that's right. You're Francis. I thought I recognized those small tits. What's up, Mr. Parker here to do a review for the DVD Fiends, and today I'll be reviewing, uh, what is it, 1980s, I believe, slasher flick? Uh, not necessarily sure, I believe it's probably mid-80s, or actually probably early 80s, because that's when Wizard was booming really strong, I guess, as strong as they got. But, uh, the movie I'll be reviewing is, uh, Dream Maniac, Wake Up and Die. Uh, basically this movie is a really cheesy type deal. It says if you don't have to live on Elm Street to have a nightmare. You don't have to live on Elm Street to have a nightmare. Anyways, uh, it basically kind of starts off really fun, like a, a slumber party massacre type deal. But then, s not slowly, but pretty dramatically downgrades. Uh, this girl has a party to get in a sorority, and a bunch of uh, bimbo, obnoxious, snobby girls show up, and a bunch of uh, flamboyantly wussy douchebag bro guys show up and uh, basically a succubus decides to crash the party. Here's where it gets interesting, or like the better word. Anyways, what happens is the succubus starts picking them off, some cool, some crappy, but uh, until it's of course, she also takes over the main girl's boyfriend and uses him as a weapon, as the succubuses do. Anyways, uh, some of the kills are alright, some of the kills are lousy, some of the kills are pretty cool. There's a couple cool kills. Uh, the drill kill is worth mentioning, and the kill with the stab to the eye with the metal pole is worth interesting. Uh, some blood splatter, but uh, you get a, couple, a little bit of nudity. Uh, a pretty nasty fellatio scene, but... Uh, Nothing too great. Uh, it's super cheesy, like too cheesy for me. The characters are pretty lame, most of them, except a couple. The nerdy guys, all right, I guess. But uh, you just really don't want to root for anyone, uh, you know. And uh, the score is actually used for Mutant Hunt. I mean, Wizard liked to reuse their stuff. I mean, later on, Headless Eyes cover became the Killer Eye or something like that. That for Full Moon, I don't know. Charles Band reused and stuff. But anyways. Uh, this is directed by David Ducundy. I can never say his name, but you guys know which guy I'm talking about. He's a, uh, a known gay director, and it kind of shows in this. Kind of like director of Mutant Hunt and Robot Holocaust. I, I believe he's gay as well. I'm just going to guess that because those movies really seem like it. And uh, Which makes me lead to think that Wizard Video is kind of weird, you know, Charles Band. I don't know. Anyways, Dream Maniac is a really cheesy type flick. Uh... It's like a bad Slumber Party Massacre. Slumber Party Massacres are like a bad good movie. So is this like a bad, bad good movie or a, a, a good bad bad movie? I don't know what is going on with this. But it's a bad, good bad movie. I don't know. Anyway, Slumber Party Ma I mean, <laughs> Dream Maniac is nothing too special. Uh, there's a couple scenes worth mentioning. Uh, the twist ending at the end is an atrocity to film anywhere. It's so bad. Someone should like just apologize after the credits of the movie. I, I should have stuck around to wait for my apology because I think there probably is one. But anyways, uh, RJ, I think you might dig this one because the fact is, I know you love Slumber Party Massacre too. And this has the whole like dream aurora with it and uh, pure cheesiness. And there's a drill in it, you know, Slumber Party Massacre style. But anyways, Dream Maniac is a pretty cheesy, crappy movie. But if you really love slasher movies, watch it. It's it, it, it's worth a funny laugh, maybe with a group of people, but don't expect great acting. T expect a terrible twist. And, uh, <laughs> that's pretty much all I can say about it. It's from Flesh Moon Video. I do like, uh, how they print the thing on the cover. Uh, this is the unrated one. Uh, you should know what you're getting yourself into when, uh, the trailer is a double feature trailer with Headless Eyes. Do not get its own trailer. It's Headless Eyes and Dream Maniac are the same trailer. One and the only. They only did one trailer for them both, so there you pretty much know what you're getting into. Uh, thanks for watching, and have a good one.